Money Moves with Myth 2.0, the podcast. And always remember, gentlemen, it's a mother movie. So today we're going to be discussing, you know, respect in America, respect around the world, uh, uh, races of men. Um, and today, in today's video, we're going to be talking about, um, why American black men are not respected, you know what I'm saying, like, in America. Like, so before we get in the video, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe, and let's get straight into the content. So this is a this is an issue that we need to talk about. You know. This is an issue that we need to talk about. American black man and, and, and its respect level. Like on Grand Theft Auto. You know, we get your uh you get your you get your levels up, you get your respect levels up. Um, American black man, you know, it seems that since the beginning of America, uh, American black man's reputation went up and then it went down again, you know, the respect level. So what is the average, what does the average American or foreigner who is in America, what do they think of when they see a, an American black man? You know, what what are they thinking? What are they saying about us? You know, uh, most of the time, you know, people are very skeptical. It's, being skeptical is not a form of respect, you know. Um, they're cautious. They're like, oh, I see a bunch of videos of these guys. I see, I see the black dudes downtown. I had an experience with a black guy and they get over and stuff like that. But if you guys don't understand when, when I say respect, then let me put it in a different context. So what's the first thing that you think of when you think of white men? You know, um, usually I hear this a lot from black people. You say, oh, white people are rich, you know, um, um, besides they say they're racist and stuff like that. But being a white man, their respect level is that they're known. They are so-called known to be have um, finances, being financially stable. You know, when you hear. Uh, 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 Spanish brother, you know, Spanish guys' reputation is really good. You know, uh, these guys are good work. They're hard workers on um, the start of their businesses. They stick, they stick together, you know, and stuff like that. So when somebody sees a Spanish guy, they're not all of a sudden like nervous. You know, they're not all of a sudden nervous. When they see an Asian dude, they be like, Asian guys are smart at mouth. He got good credit, you know. Um, um, yeah. Yo, know, when you see an Indian dude, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this guy work at the gas station. You know, everybody has way more respect than American black man. You know, um, it's, for, first of all, uh, uh, um, my black man in America um, it's not a good thing for people to fear you, you know, uh, being looked at as a person that, um, um, has a low income. That's what people think when they see you, like this guy's on food stops. He's probably homeless. He's in a gang. He's selling drugs. He, uh, black guys have bad attitudes. Um, and the problem is 
is that, you know, it makes it harder for a black man to come up financially when when American black men are the least respected guys. You know what I'm saying? You still could come up financially as an American black male, but as far as interacting with different races of people, um, people will be less likely to conversate with you. Like, okay, so like I stay in the white community and then white people, like when they see, they're not really trying to say, hey, what's up? Oh, this guy's easy to talk to. Let me talk to him. Like white men and women, they would much rather have a conversation with a Asian man, a, a foreigner, a Spanish guy, you know, and guys, let me say something. We have to stop the the buffoonery. The single mothers who are raising a black, the new black Gen Z and and, and a new black man. Um, if your reputation don't get better, you're gonna have a hard time because most women, even though they act hard, they're scary, and. And they and, and, and um, most women and other races, they look for guys who are smart, guys who they think is smart, guys who think they think um, will be financially stable and stuff like that. You know, but if you are perceived as a guy, a, 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 a man, a breed of man in America who cannot elevate cannot have a functional disagreement without getting angry and you know and stuff like that then you're gonna have issues with asian women and you're gonna have issues with asian american women you're gonna have issues with um um the top percent of white women you know what i'm saying um you're gonna have issues with spanish women you know so now you're like, oh, I, black women are, are this type of way. And you want to date another race of woman in your country. But it's hard for you to do that because because the women don't really want to rock with you because of them being skeptical and your respect level. People don't think when people see a black man, they're not thinking success. They're thinking menace to society. They're thinking of the kids who ran into the store and ran out the store. You know what I'm saying? They're not thinking of business owners. They're not thinking of hard workers. You got black men don't want to work. Black men walking off the job. Black men not doing anything that is honorable. You know. So, for all the guys out there who's who's on their grizzly, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about and it's not gonna get any easier for all you all you black guys who be living a thug life and you know uh, uh causing our reputation to get bad you're not making it no gooder for yourself period like being a thug is not perceived as cool by the majority let me say that again being a thug, being a street dude, being a gangster is not perceived as normal by the majority of people in America. Most people in America look at, want to be so-called gangsters, so-called, you know, so, uh, stuff like that. They look at you, they look down on this, you know. Most women are not going to, some of the most beautifulest women of other races is not going to want to deal with you because of your reputation. It's going to be much harder. It's just like if a, if a white woman or an Asian woman or, or, or a black woman or any race of woman talk to a white guy, he has respect. So they're going to talk to him and, and respect him more because of his reputation. You know, he's not he's not perceived as a guy that's going to rob them, you know. Um, no, he's not perceived as a guy who's trying to get over. You know, he try, he, he, the majority of white men, at least they try to do right. 
You know, it's just it's all about respect levels. It's gonna be harder for us black men who are who are actually trying to do right because people are skeptical about us. You know, people are skeptical and they're gonna be skeptical because of the current state of African American people in this country, the broken households in this in, in this country, guys. So, you know, this is the podcast, man. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments. Make sure you go follow me on Instagram. And always remember, fellas, it's a mother movie. Over and out.